Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at Profile Manager, which is Apple's MDM solution or Mobile Device Management solution. Now Profile Manager is designed to allow you to manage multiple devices, to manage your Macs and your iOS devices from the server interface. Uh, this is one of the more powerful aspects of the server software because it allows you to make changes in a profile management uh, portal that then push those changes to all of your devices. So you'll be able to manage all of the details of your devices from one interface, uh, which is also web-based. So you'll be able to do it from just about anywhere. And then as soon as you make those changes to settings and those sorts of things, it, get, it gets pushed to your devices. So this comes in really handy if you're a home user and you want to manage your family's devices, uh, or if you're in business and you're managing multiple devices, this allows you to do that in a very simple way. So this week what we're going to do is just talk about the setup of Profile Manager and then I'm going to follow up with a series of screencasts on some of the details on how you can actually manage your users and your devices through this interface. So here we are inside Profile Manager and just like we have with all of the other services you can see we're offline right now. We also have uh, our permissions here. Uh, again we can set specific uh, permissions on where connections come from, either all networks, private networks, or only some networks. And so this is a setting that goes for each and every service inside of uh, OS X Server. And now down here is where we actually do um, some of the configurations to get Profile Manager going. So the first thing here that you see is device management. You can see that it's disabled. And so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and configure this so that we can do the device management. So if I just click on this configure box here, we're going to get this drop down that's going to read our settings. Now as Profile Manager is reading these settings, a couple of things that you'll need to know. Uh, it does need open directory uh, in order for Profile Manager to work because it does use the open directory settings uh, as its backend database basically for your users and for your devices. So you'll need to have that running and you'll also need to have your certificates uh, set up and running as well. And I'm going to show you as we walk through here but I just wanted to let you know that that's there. So let's go ahead and just hit next right here. And so in here is where you would put your name, uh, your email address, your phone number, and your address. And this information is going to be shown for users to help them identify your server. So if you're in a business, you might have your business name there and maybe your contact info and your address. Uh, again, if you're uh, a user, you can put that information in here as well. It's up to you. Uh, in my case, I'm just using it for family, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to hit next. And so here is where you would put your certificate. And you notice it's warning me that it, I have a, um, you know, the web server isn't configured to use a trusted certificate. Now, a trusted SSL certificate, as we covered back in the uh, certificate screencast, is one that's registered with a third party uh, carrier. And so what that does is that verifies that somebody knows that you are who you say you are so that you don't go to any malicious sites or anything like that. Well, in this case, because I'm running Profile Manager, uh, I'm just using the built-in certificate because I know my server is legitimate, so I'm not too worried about that. And so when uh, I get a warning or whatever, I'm okay with that because I know that it is my server that's making those changes. But if you had a different uh, certificate, you could just come in here and select it. And you can see here, I've got my, uh, my open directory certificate here, so I'm good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit next. And so all I gotta do now is click finish uh, to finish device management. So I'm going to do that. And you can see that now it's enabled device management. And so that's all set and ready to go. Now the next thing is, is I've got two options here. I can enroll in the device enrollment program and I can distribute apps and books in the volume purchase program. So let me just cover what these are. Uh, this device enrollment program allows you to, if you're a business or a school or something like that, enroll in their program uh, with Apple where Apple would then be able to ship you devices that already have your profiles on them up and ready to go. So it's a really convenient way if you're ordering tons of iPads, let's say, for a school, to have those iPads pre-configured with the things you want on them so out of the box everything is set up and ready to go. Uh, let me show you. If I just uh, click on this box here, you can see that it brings up this uh, device enrollment uh, option here, and I need to create an account uh, to do that. So let me just hit create account. It's going to bring up a web browser here for me. 
and uh, let's go ahead and let that load. And so this is where the deployment programs are. And you can see it's got uh, the device enrollment program, volume purchase program, Apple ID for students. If you don't have an account, you can enroll or you can sign in using the um, Apple ID and password that you've got set. And so again, you would just register and then have options for these different uh, programs that are set up. Uh, again, Apple ID for students, device enrollment program, volume purchasing program. So that's how that works. Let me just go ahead and put that down. Um, so if you needed to do that, you would uh, create an account, set that up, go next, and it would ask you to put that information in here. Uh, since I'm not going to do that because I don't need to make that happen, I'll just hit cancel. But I just want to let you know that that was there and what that looked like. Now down here, you can also distribute apps and books in the volume purchase program. Okay, now let me just click on that. And what this does is this allows you to purchase an application um, with a volume discount. Let's say you need the same application for, you know, across 20 different Apple IDs. And so everybody doesn't use the same Apple ID, but you want to have that on all of your devices. What you can do is purchase this app at a volume discount, and then they give you a token that you would drag in here. You could just click choose to choose the file that they sent you. And that token then would have you signed up for the program and for the service. And then you could download your applications there and they'd be on your devices. And in fact, if I just click this little button right here, this will take you to the volume purchase program on Apple's website. And you can see you can do it for education or you can do it for business. Uh, it all depends on kind of what you're, what you're using it for. Again, this is in the case where you have a lot of users and you don't, it would be too expensive to just purchase 20 uh, of the application for a retail price. It just allows you to have a discount there. So let's go ahead and put that down. So in my case, I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to let you know that that service was there. Now down below here, we've got the default configuration pro, uh, profile. We've got settings for everyone. If I just click on configure here, you can see that I can change the profile name to whatever I want it to be. And you'll also notice that I can include configuration for these services. And you can see I've got calendar, contacts, file sharing, messages, VPN, all set up and ready to go here. And that's because we've got those set on the side. If I had mail set up, mail would show up here as well, the mail icon. And this is a basic default profile that users could download to their devices that would uh, have them log in with their username and password and then set up all of these services for them automatically on that device, whether it's an iOS device or a Mac. And so, again, I can name it whatever I want, but this uh, default configuration profile will show up on Profile Manager. So let's go ahead and just cancel that. So that's what that is. Now, the next thing we've got is we can sign our configuration profiles. And so I want to go ahead and do that. And all that does is that's going to sign it with our SSL certificate. You can see here it says none. I'm going to select the code signing certificate that I've got right here, which is for my open directory. It's the one that the server created. I'm going to say OK. And so now it's ready to sign those profiles. If I ever needed to reconfigure it, I just hit this and I could choose a different certificate if I got one. Uh, but now it's going to sign those profiles for me so that it adds that into the profile itself. So there's no guessing. So now that I've got all this stuff set up uh, and ready to go, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw the switch here. So let's go ahead and do that. And as it always does, it's going to ask us if we want to allow it to access the internet, if we want uh, Profile Manager available there so that it'll open the ports on our router. So if you've got an Apple router, you're going to have the ports automatically open for you. If you don't, then you'll have to open those ports yourself. I'm going to say allow. And so you can see it's now ready to go. Everything is set. We've got the green light uh, and it's ready to go. Again, if you come up here on the uh, router, it will automatically open. You can see it automatically open the ports I need for Profile Manager right here. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up, Profile Manager is up and running. Now you'll notice down below here in the Profile Manager screen, we've got the My Devices and Profile uh, Manager here with little buttons to open in Safari. Uh, this My Devices site is where you would enroll your devices into Profile Manager, and I'm going to show you how to do that in another screencast. And this Profile Manager site here is where you actually manage your profiles. So if I just click on Open in Safari here, it's going to go ahead and load me uh, into this website here. And so usually it'll ask you for your user credentials. I've already logged in, so it's just taking me there right now. And so this is the Profile Manager website. And so like I said, you can get there just by putting in HTTPS uh, with the colon and two backslashes and then your server's name with the backslash Profile Manager. And that'll get you to your Profile Manager website. 
And like I said, this is where you'll do all the management of stuff. And I'm going to show you how all this works and take you through this in detail. But I just wanted to show you what this site looks like. And there are a few changes from the previous version to this version that I'll cover as well. So let me just go ahead and put that down. So that's all I have for this week. Uh, hopefully that helps you get set up with Profile Manager and get you up and running uh, so that we can go ahead and start to manage your users and your devices from one location. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.